Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, seismologists are sounding the alarm about the Cascadian subduction zone and how it is literally about to break. Right now, we are over 100, some say about 250, other estimates are 117 some odd years overdue. This is a very big deal, especially considering when they've had an earthquake on average every 202 years. This means that a lot of people in that area and in that area impact zone are in a whole lot of trouble at some point in the very near future. And this one, I want to point out to you because uh, here's what I'm going to show you in today's report. I did some searching over the internet. Did you know that Cascadia has more prep prep preparations and readiness than any other earthquake right now. And what I mean, um, like when I looked up one on the internet versus the San Andreas versus the New Madrid, so much more information and preparedness was all revolved around the Cascadia subduction zone. This is the time when I would question to myself if that's even an area I want to live in. And if I decide to live in that area, I would be preparing. So this is just a, a warning for all you guys out there because they are expecting this mega quake and I'm going to prove it to you. So let's just dive right into that report. All right, so let's start here first. You can see when I plugged in the words Cascadia prepared, an entire website comes up devoted to that. And you can see they have about resource, staff, project, upcoming events, board of directors, all dedicated specifically to the Cascadia fault. And then you have other websites. They have their Chamber of Commerce, Emergency Management there, uh, an organ, also a Facebook, a Twitter page, all these things devoted to this one particular, uh, well, subduction zone. Now, if we plug in, New Madrid prepared uh, the same thing. This is a different fall line. We just get one simple website. We don't have that breakdown and then some, some information about it. Now, if I plug in San Andreas prepared, then this is what I get. Be prepared, San Andreas Faults, uh, and, and just some other ones. But notice they're not real specific websites. Here's the one on San Andreas. It's very generic, got some information on it. Here's the one on the New Madrid. This one's a little more intense, but not real specific, not talking about um, having drills, although they do and whatnot. But you can see some of this here. Now, what happens when we go to Cascadia? Well, let's click on this particular link, and here's where it takes it to. Notice the difference in the preparation of those websites, New, New Madrid versus San Andreas versus the Cascadia. Obviously, this one's a lot more in depth, talks about the risk, the projects, uh, as well. But here's what it says. An introduction to the Cascadia subduction zone. According to geologists at OSU, there have been 28 earthquakes over 8.0 magnitude in that particular area over the past 5,650 years. The average interval on the earthquakes is 202 years. That's how often they have it. However, the last major CSZ event was 317 years ago on January 26, 1700. That means we're 317 years. This is their average. Some people different, but all of them agree that we are over, way over. And the only longest interval that's ever been recorded has been 330 years, which means we could surpass the one longest time uh, by going 19 to 20 more years into the future. Now, obviously, they say they still have time to prepare because it hasn't happened yet, but it is overdue. Here's just some more information on it, but let me take you to, and it even gets into how you be prepared. This is why I tell everybody to prepare with food storage. I've got uh, links below in my channel. So preparewithlisa.com. Make sure you have food storage on hand and, and something to purify your water, but they've got some amazing specials there, but that's just something I'm adding on the side. I'll leave a link in the description box. Uh, but moving on a little bit, let's go to the risk of the Cascadia. Here, they kind of repeat what I've already said, but it also says this. The Cascadia Rising exercise conducted on June 2016 revealed just how unprepared we are in the region for this event. It was a four-day event, multiple organizations, agencies, and emergency operations across three different states played out in case of a Cascadia subduction zone earthquake and tsunami. Basically, they did this entire drill, and this was done in 2016. Here's just a peek at that. You can see Cascadia Rising 2016 action report 
report, things they need to do differently. Uh, but they've got an entire document, all of the exercises they ran, the action report, and what they need to do in the future. Now, I actually reported on this in on my channel in 2016, but I want to bring it back to the forefront because it's not going away. More articles and more information are starting to get published specifically in regards to this one event. And that's something that they also did in conjunction with FEMA. But it says this, the official after action report, this is after that, that 2016 event, and this is years later, I believe, the emergency management community lacked the capacity to respond to the unique complexities for a catastrophic disaster of this magnitude. In other words, uh, they Cascadia Prepared chooses to view this situation as a challenge, not as a doomsday scenario. Well, obviously, they have to put a little sugar with the, well, I guess, vomit that's going down your throat, I guess, uh, it, it, or, or cyanide, I should say. But I mean, because they don't want to put people in a state of a panic, and neither do I. Am I saying this is going to happen tomorrow or within a week or within a month? No, I'm not. I'm not uh, I'm not God. I don't know the future. Only God knows that. But what I am saying is it's not a question of if. It's a question of when it is going to happen and that it is going to happen. This is what seismologists are saying to the point where they've got Cascadia Earthquake Preparedness. They've got scorecards, earthquake survival handbooks. Uh, you can see this here. That They've got a whole handbook that they're giving out to people in the area. They've got a board of directors on this. They've got advisory councils, missions and goals, and then more resources for the public. They even have their own Facebook page. Again, this is above and beyond your typical preparedness for other earthquakes. Or I mean other uh, earthquake threats such as the San Andreas and the new Madrid. Uh, but there you have it. So here's what we know. The government, the media, along with uh, seismologists and scientists are all putting all their attention and focusing everything on the Cascadia subduction zone. I'm simply asking why? Why? Is there something that they know that we don't? And I think it's very simply that it's way overdue. We're talking 317 some odd years overdue based off the statistics on their main page there. Now, that's not to say that uh, San Andreas or the New Madrid or some other earthquake won't go before because I just don't know. Again, I'm just an average person. I, I can't foresee the future, right? But the thing is, there's definitely attention being focused in this area. So my plea to those of you out there is just be ready, be prepared, know what's happening around you. And if you're in that area, you need to take major precautions, be ready with uh, places to run or go or mindful of, of where you are because you just never know what tomorrow holds. And and ultimately I have uh, people out there listening in that area too. And I'm not trying to be a fear monger. I know we often get that title, but sometimes the news just sucks. And again, I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know what's going to happen or when, but I do know it will happen sometime in the future. Could be 10 days from now. It could be tomorrow. It could be 50 years to 100 years. I just don't know. But statistically speaking, it's never gone beyond 330 years. On average, it's been 202. So right now we're sitting at 317, which ergo is probably the reason why they're putting up all the focus and attention. And, and again, I... I I haven't heard too much from the mainstream media on it. I've heard some, which is quite surprising. But anyhow, I love you. I would love to get your thoughts, comments, and, and, and uh, all your, your thoughts on this. And please don't forget to check out my partner at preparewithlisa.com. Get food storage. Have something on hand a month to two months. You never know. Uh, obviously, FEMA has already admitted that they cannot fill the gaps. They won't be there to the level that you need them. Anyhow, I love you guys. I'm Lisa Haven and hope all else is well signing out.